Todd Swafford and Marilyn Demartini, Race World Onshore, presenting its second event of 2018. We're in Dunkirk, New York, for the Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. We're going to have a great race today. The racers all talking about what a fantastic race site this is, and it's going to put on a great show for the local folks here on the waterfront, the beach, here in Dunkirk. I've never seen a race course that lays out so fan-friendly. With the mile-long beach that they have on one end, this rock jetty that people can walk out on and set up their chairs. We're going to have a great time watching these boats fly around here in Dunkirk today. You'll watch it live here on the live stream, and it's brought to you by Performance Boat Center, the premier high-performance dealer and full marine center with locations in Lake of the Ozarks and South Florida, performanceboatcenter.com. All right, so they're getting the boats up on plane. We're about ready to go racing, folks. Get ready for Super Cat Racing. We're watching WHM there roll up. Just at about the halfway point where you see them go beyond the yellow buoy from our vantage point, this race should start. Helicopters overhead and they're rolling. Looks like WHM out in front. Yep, it looks like we have a race start with WHM Motorsports out to an early lead. The AMH is right there along with Performance Boat Center. So Coming we, down that long straightaway on the outside of the breakwater. We'll see them coming around. Getting to that first turn is ultimately important. That's what WHM is trying to do. AMH is right in there, right into the mix. Looks like three across as they're coming around to the turn. Yeah, it's WHM, AMH, and Performance Boat Center coming around to turn number two, and then they'll head right here in front of our vantage point at the start-finish line at the end of the city pier in Dunkirk. It continues to be WHM Motorsports, a 40-foot skater with twin 750-horsepower Sterling engines leading. And this will be a great shot as they come right down in front of the fans. They're going three wide right now. WHM on the outside. That's Cleveland Construction jetting out to the lead. And then WHM just passes. Cleveland Construction, and then AMH, Pro Floors, and then MCON. The performance boat slid in the third there. Did they? Yeah, they were behind on the spray. So WHM Motorsports just got past Cleveland Construction, and it appeared that Performance Boat Center was in there as well. AMH looking pretty good. As AMH came up right behind. They sure did. The Cleveland then, construction was really making things interesting. So right now you got WHM Motorsports at the end of lap number one in first place. Performance Boat Center and Cleveland Construction in a dead heat, but we have Cleveland Construction taking the lead on the back stretch, heading to the far turn. All six boats were within seconds of each other as they came through on that first half lap. Once again, WHM and Cleveland Construction very close. Cleveland Construction on the inside and WHM taking the, the wide side of that turn we'll see who comes out first in the straightaway a little bit more of a spread they've uh, given each other a lot of room out there so here they come around the final turn on the lap it's WHM Motorsports and Cleveland Construction Johnny and Myrick took a tighter uh, corner there. Yep, they took the tighter line and they're in third place. So it's Cleveland Construction, WHM, WHM Motorsports, and Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns. 
Here comes Imcon. They're in fourth. Pro Floor is running in fifth. AMH. AMH will take up six. All six boats. All out. And within about 10 seconds of the leader. So we have two laps down of an 11 and a half lap course. And only about a boat length between the top three. Yep. They're, ne they're negotiating that nice little stretch in between the the breaker wall and the pier. It's interesting to see the strategies that they're using, you know, on this long straightaway and how they're taking their turns. That extra second can make all the difference. Cleveland Construction is pulled out to about a six boat length lead on the back stretch. So it's Cleveland Construction, WHM, and Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, and they're making up some, some distance up on second. MCON continues to run in fourth place as they finish up the back stretch and now make that more than 90 degree turn and head back in here to the bay in front of the Dunkirk City Pier. Looks like Performance Boat Center moving up on WHM Motorsports. You could have a lead change there. But Cleveland Construction, Ed Smith and Grant Bruggeman having a nice run out here today on Lake Erie. Boy, they're really cutting right over there. Beautiful, beautiful racing. This is real skill out there to make that happen. WHM holds his line, stays in front of Performance Boat Center. There's Cleveland Construction in front of WHM by two seconds. And two seconds back, US 1 Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns. MCON still running in fourth. Pro Floor is running in fifth. AMH. Bring it up the rear, come on guys. They've fallen a little bit off the pace, but they're still in striking distance to get up into fourth or fifth place. We're on lap number four of 11 and a half. This is the first of two heats in the Super Cat class. Checking the back stretch, it continues to be Cleveland Construction in the front. Performance Boat Center is keeping up as best they can. They are right on the the back deck of WHM Motorsports. They're trying to make a move on the outside. Billy Moff going to hold the line to the turn. Cleveland Construction continues to have a, a good lead of about five boat lengths. So it's Cleveland Construction out in front. Makes the turn. Performance Boat Center wide. WHM takes the tight line to the pin. Holding on to second. Performance might be slightly out ahead, but it looks like WHM will hold on to second. Cleveland Construction, you know, is going to stay in that fight. And here they come in the fast straightaway to complete lap number four. Cleveland Construction continues to lead. WHM right behind and Performance Boat. Four second lead on WHM. Performance Boat Center in third charges up behind. MCON holding on to four. WHM. Pro Floors in fifth. They've stayed the same for the last three laps and AMH still holding in there in about the same position to in the back of the pack in sixth place. You know, you still got to give those guys a lot of credit. They're, they haven't had that much experience running together. You know, they did uh, a few races in Super V uh, when they were running the instigator boat and now they've got about three races under this is their third race uh, in this boat so the more seat time they have the better they're going to get but just keeping up with this pack is 
is doing a great job. For Cleveland them. construction yeah. continues to lead, but right now Performance Boat Center has gotten past WHM by just half a boat, Lee. But it looks like WHM going to continue to try and hold on to that inside line. And each time this has happened, WHM has come out of that turn and had the lead coming back across the finish line. MCON still in fourth place. Pro Floors in fifth. AMH in sixth. Making the, the big turn is Cleveland Construction. 38-foot skater with twin 750 horsepower Sterling engines. Grant Bruggeman and Ed Smith looking for a big win. Thought they had it in Mentor, but on the last lap, Performance Boat Center came and took it away from them. They've got a substantial lead. The big battles in, in for second, second place. Third, yeah. You can't even see WHM now. He's back behind Performance Boat Center as somehow they got to the inside of them. Ooh, that was a tight turn they just did on Cleveland Construction, making that bend beautiful work. And Cleveland Construction leading, hanging out the last five. And now Performance Boat Center in Coming second. Around. WHM getting a little loose there. Yep, two and a half seconds behind. Here comes MCON. WHM with MCON in fourth Pro Floors is in fifth place. Here comes AMH to round out six spot. They may be losing a little ground there. They're sounding like they're running pretty smooth though. Every boat team has Sterling for the exception of Pro Floors. They have Jim Cass engines and then AMH, they have What's Up engines. And you know, that's uh, that's Anthony Smith's own company. So, you know, he's been building boat engines for, uh, for 20 years. So this is his business and he's grown up in racing with his dad, Smitty. So. Cleveland Construction continues to lead on the back stretch heading into the, the final two turns. We're on lap number six of 11 and a half. They look spread out there on the back stretch, but they sure tighten it up when they come around that bend. Yeah, the, the order is pretty steady here as you got Cleveland Construction, Performance, Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, and then WHM Motorsport. MCON and NC1 Pro Floors. I mean, they are all within 10 to 12 seconds of the lead. And Cleveland Construction's going wide on the outside, but they make a real tight cut when they come around the turn. Uh, looks like somebody's, somebody's having some troubles pulling out, pulling off the course, and that's Cleveland Construction. Here comes your new leader, Performance Boat going. Center, Jimmy Johns. With about a seven-second lead over WHM. Here goes MCON now in third place. MCON now in third. Pro Floors now in fourth. Something happened to Cleveland Construction. They're off plane and motoring down in front of the the breakers. Oh, that's a heartbreak for this team that puts so much into getting back out here. There goes. AMH taken in fifth place. And here comes Cleveland Construction. As they run in front of our broadcast position here, they had it going on there. It led lap two, three, four, and five. And you know, gotta give them a hand. Boy, they really did everything that they could to get here but apparently something just didn't quite hold together properly. You know, when you have every one of your controls washed out and you have to replace wiring and electronics and so many things to take into consideration in getting the boat back up. It was running beautifully. They sure did have a lot of work to do on that. And man, you got to credit Mark Small and his team of uh, getting that done and getting that boat here to race. And it looked like it was maybe going to be a end of a great story for them to win this first heat. Uh, hopefully it's something they can 
fix up without having to take the boat out of the water. And be ready for the second heat. Exactly. Anything can happen. All right, here we go. This is Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, as they expand their lead and head out for lap number seven. Larry Boyle and John Tomlinson with about a 14 boat lead over WHM Motorsports. They're in second. Eight seconds there. Makes a difference. MCON making it in the third. Rose Flores right on there, Stern. On fourth. Rose Pro Flores right on there, Stern. They can make a move for third here on this lap. Yep. In that 39 MTI, they're in fourth place. And here comes AMH as they are gonna finish up this Bring lap and they're now in fifth place. The boat's running really smoothly. They just are uh, lacking a little speed and trying to keep up with performance boats, a pretty tough challenge. Five laps left in this race and the 38-8 skater of Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, continuing to hold on to a substantial lead. Again, we just mentioned it. Don't forget, this is a two-heat race. They'll run 11 and a half laps later on today, and it'll be a combined score from the two races to determine the overall winner. Right now, the standings haven't changed. Pro Floor is still holding up there in fourth, but right on the right on the tail of MCON. They may have made some distance up on WHM in second. The Performance Boat Center will go into the final turn again with a big lead. Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, two-time defending world champion. And you know Johnny and Myrick have, uh, have their communications going very smoothly on how they want to handle this. And they'll finish up. Making it a strong move here. Lap eight in first place. Here comes WHM Motorsports, the early leader. Now running in second. And they picked it up a little notch there. Imcon holding on to third and again right on now. Pro four. AMH coming around the final turn there, still holding on to fifth place. Coming up in our next race, the Pro Stock Catamarans and the Pro Stock Vs. Then the Supercats will come back later and run a second heat. There's AMH. Nice day for them on their first Race World Offshore event. They're holding on to fifth place. And Still chasing the leaders. We'll have an aerial show with Rick Volker that will entertain the local fans here. And again, Pro Stock Cat and Pro Stock V will be running later on this afternoon, right about uh, 2 o'clock. And then after that, the Super Cats will come out for heat number two. Rick did a great job uh, entertaining yesterday, uh, Rick Volker, on uh -huh. his uh, acrobatics act. It was just fascinating to see him going up and down and over and the smoke trails just letting us know where he'd been in record time. The crowds here in Mentor, uh, here in Dunkirk, are really are enjoying this event. First time event for them here. What a show the Super Cats are putting on for them here today. Look at those rooster tails coming around. It looks like we're getting a much tighter race here for third and fourth. Here comes Performance Boat Center. Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns continues to lead after lap number nine. WHM Motorsports hanging on to second, a battle for third with Imcon and Pro Floors. Pro Floors will take it third. Pro Floors now moves into third place. The team from Auckland, New Zealand. 
Chris Hanley and Wayne Wolder. And they are feeling good. They moved up into the third place. Wayne Blatter is really invested in coming into the U.S. and racing and trying to win an American championship. Here comes AMH Motorsports running in fifth place. We have three laps remaining here in this event. This is where you don't want the gremlins to come get you. The race goes on. This is a spec class. These engines are, are built to run a lot of time, a lot of hours, but it could be the simplest, smallest little $3 part that will knock you out somewhere. And it's always the five uh, the five dollar part that causes the fifty thousand dollar repair job, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just the hose clamp or something exactly simple. Exactly right. That, that very rarely happens with uh, with the team from Performance Boat Center. They go over the boat with a fine tooth comb every single race. Yes, Johnny Tomlinson, meticulous. Again, he has the championships to prove it. What a great move by Performance Boat Center when they decided to go into offshore racing full tilt to, to bring in Johnny Tomlinson and his old uh, crew chief Myrick Coyle to run the boat and they are a hard team to beat they, you, they they're just not going to make a mistake not very often that's for sure and they continue to leave and they lead with a strong Taking run here increasing their lead it looks like here performance boat center Jimmy John on the 10th lap and here comes WHM Motorsports. They have been running really good. They just can't catch up the Performance Boat Center. Jimmy Johns, Billy Bob, and Jay Muller. And Brooks Morris is catching up. Yep. Even faster in third. MCON running in fourth. MCON not going down without a fight, though. I'll tell you, MCON is really establishing themselves as a, a team that get, is getting it done here. Tyler Miller and Tyson Garvin. Did a great job leading for three laps in the Rough Waters and Mentor, and they have been chasing the, the front of the pack this entire race. We got two laps left, and we're out on one of those right now. AMH comes across. They're running in fifth place. Remember earlier we had Cleveland Construction led the second through the fifth lap, and then coming into the final turn had something go wrong and had to exit the race. You know, it's interesting as we watch the water here in between the breakwater and the pier, it's getting churned up from all this boat traffic. So it might be uh, it might be calm water, but they're getting a little bit of extra chop here just by their own doing. WHM on the back stretch there. Pro Flores trying to chase them down into that final turn. But Performance Boat Center Jimmy Johns with the commanding lead. Pro Floors really turning it on. Got that 39 MTI running really strong. You know, MTI is known as a rough water boat. Not that skater can't hold its own in uh, rough or smooth water, but uh, the skaters might be at a little bit of an advantage on this course. All right, here, here they are. Johnny, Johnny Tomlinson, and Myra Coyle, Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns. <laughs> Leading, heading out to the final lap. WHM Motorsports hanging on to second. Right in his wake, right in his spray, is Pro Floors. WHM. NC1 well, Pro Floors. Behind, and here comes Pro Floors. And MCON running in fourth. All right, they're out on their final lap, folks. Right now, Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns poised to take the first place points in this two race heat and Super Cat in the Dunkirk Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix presented by Race World Offshore. You're listening to our live stream coverage here at raceworldoffshore.global. There goes AMH Motorsports. Finishing up the next to last lap in fifth. So they're going to finish out on the outside No, they'll finish here in front of us at the yellow buoy. We did a half lap on the very first lap, and this will be a full lap. So This is going to be an exciting finish right in front of the fans here. And the real race 
is for second place because Wayne Lauder and Chris Hanley are pushing hard to chase down WHM Motorsports and Joey Impression, Jay Muller, and they're getting tight in that turn over there. Billy Moss not going to appreciate you calling him Joey Impression. Joey Impression. But Joey, again. you're going to get a shout out to him too. Hey, jo- Joey, Here. we love you. We we you can't, we like saying your name. Billy Moff and and Jay Muller holding on to second. And here comes your leader in Super Cat getting ready to take the the win in Heat 1. We see the checkered flag out here on Pace Boat 1. Here they are, Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, John Tomlinson, Myra Coyle, your winner here today. In the Race World Offshore Dunkirk Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. And it looks like WHM Motorsports, Billy Moff and Jay Muller are going to hang on for second and a fine finish in third place for the NC1 Pro Floors. MCON will take fourth. And when AMH Motorsports comes around, they will finish up in fifth. And six will go to Cleveland Construction, who had an exit early because of mechanical problems. We'll look forward to talking with them and finding out what the problem was, and hopefully they'll be able to get it fixed and be ready for the second heat. Coming up at about 2.45, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Yep, holding the checkered flag right now is Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, with the big win here in the first heat in Dunkirk, New York. We're gonna uh, wrap this uh, this race up. Thanks to Performance Boat Center for sponsoring our live stream. The premier high performance dealer and full marine service center with locations in Lake of the Ozarks and South Florida. Visit performanceboatcenter.com. Let's go racing, race world offshore style here in Dunkirk. Brought to you by Performance Boat Center, the premier high performance dealer and full marine service center with locations in Lake of the Ozarks and South Florida. Visit performanceboatcenter.com. We're getting ready to start our second race here in Dunkirk, the Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix Race World Offshore live right here on the internet at raceworldoffshore.com. Global, the live stream brought to you by Performance Boat Center, South Florida and Lake of the Ozarks. And the flag has dropped and we are underway racing. Hold on to your seats, folks. This is going to be fun. And it's the Pro Stock Cats and the Pro Stock Vs underway here early in this race. Looks like CR Racing's got off to an early start and an early lead. F&J Propellers is running in second in the outside lane with Team Allen Long Care on the inside in third. We've got 14 and a half laps for these boats, so it's gonna be, a, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And they're gonna be coming around here and this bend, it'll be curious to see how they plan their turns. It's still CR Racing taking the lead, going into the last turn before coming in here to the bay in front of the spectators. F&J Propellers running in second. Team Allen Lawn Care running in third, back in for Double Edge Motorsports. As they come around the turn in front of the spectators, it continues to be CR Racing. In first, FJ Propellers running in second. And Team Allen Lawn Team Care Allen. in third. We have our first half lap finished. And here comes Double Edge Motorsports, father-daughter team, the Dodoyers, in fourth place. Here comes our Super V. We got the Marker 17 Marine. Marker 17 Marine leading after lap number one. And where's our guys from Octane? Here Here they are, making the turn. Yeah, finally coming around turn number four. So on the back, Straight away now, after going around turns one and two, Team CNR Racing continues to lead. There's your number two boat, F and J Propellers, chasing CNR Racing. 
Rob Understall and Casey Boaz. Got the early lead here in Pro Stock Catamarans. Right on the rooster tail of F and J Propellers in third, Team Allen Lawn Care. Flying down that back straightaway, the three top boats all within five seconds of each other. Boy, they are they are running well. CR Racing, the 32-foot Doug Wright. They all these boats run the two 300 horsepower Mercury OS engines, and they're running out to an early lead. Coming into the final turn before coming in front of the spectators. We're on lap number two here in Dunkirk. Live coverage here on Race World Offshore.global. Todd Swafford, Marilyn DiMartini here with you. Fans are really enjoying these, these races here in Western New York. Rob and Casey really look like they have their boat dialed in here, bringing it around the turn. Coming pretty wide. For those of you who are not familiar with offshore racing, it's a great shot. You can see how these boats ride just right on top of the water. Got air packed in, that tunnel underneath, and there they come. CR Racing in number one. After lap number two, FJ Propellers running in second. And a close third, Team Allen Lawn Care. Following up in a distant fourth, here comes Double Edge Motorsports. It is a father-daughter team. Jim, a veteran, but his young daughter, Lindsay, is driving for the second time in a race boat. It's just a great story. And it's their first time racing together. together. Yep. I mean, how exciting is that? And you could, it was written all over their faces. He is so proud of her. Marker 17, Marine. Makes the final turn at number four. You know, and this is an outer limits boat that, uh, again, is uh, made for rough water, but they're handling the smooth water easily. That's Carbon a, fiber boat, lightweight, and just... Watching the boats handling. on the back straightaway in the Pro Stock Catamaran class, looking at FJ Propellers. Gary Ballou, he doesn't spend a lot of time in second place, but he's there right now. He's not used to seeing rooster tail, so you know he's pushing it. Yeah, well, he could just be stalking. And Team you Allen. know, Jimmy is, you know, F and J propellers, uh, you know, Frank and Jimmy's propeller, so he's an experienced uh, pilot there behind the wheel. In front of us, in front of the start finish line, Team Octane coming by, running in second place in Pro Stock V. Lead boats in the Pro Stock Cat class coming around the turn. Team Allen Lawn Care there, back in third place. CNR Racing continues to lead though. Makes the final turn at number four. And here they come. Down to finish up lap number three. That's CNR Racing. CR Racing in first place. Big battle going on right now for second, second place. And third. F and J Propellers and Team Allen Lawn Care dueling it out side by side at 100 around. miles an hour. Battle to the line to see who takes second place. It F and J Propellers like by nose. Pulls out. But Boy, it is like a horse race, isn't it? But Team Allen Lawn Care has the line on the inside as they go around turn number one. You know, these boats seem a lot smaller going into that uh, chute there as they come around the outside of the brake wall. But it's still tight. It's got to be very exciting to be neck and neck with other uh, racers. Team Allen Lawn Care took second place on that turn, heading down to the back stretch. So now F and J Propellers in third place. There goes Double Edge Motorsports running back in fourth. We'll watch these boats on the back straightaway. That's Team Allen Lawn Care. They moved up to second place. The helicopter is right on their tail. We'll be seeing some good footage from that shot on the TV show. There's your Pro Stock V. It's Tony Canale and Jim Simmons and Team Octane running back in second place. They've just come around turn number four. 
at the, the rate these cats are going, they may lap him uh, coming around on the next run. Yep, there's your leader in the Pro Stock Cat class. There goes across our vantage point here, the Outer Limits, Marker 17 Marine continuing to lead. But the battle in Pro Stock Catamarans is coming around the far turn. Looks CM like CR has really increased their lead here. Yep, and now they spread out with Team Allen Longcare right there in second place. I'm not discounting Gary Ballou, though, and... Uh, well, you can't. You just... <laughs> you, you can't do that. And here's CNR Racing. What a day. Tighter turn on that one. Nice work. By Rob Understall and Casey Boaz. You know, they're really nice guys. They don't say much, but they're doing it out here on the race course. Got a good 12 length boat lead over number two, Team Allen Lawn Care. And in third, the S1 FJ Propellers. Heading out for lap number five. You know, there's some great uh, camaraderie that goes on, on with these teams, but you know the competition out there is neck and neck. Uh, Lindsay ran with Gary Ballou uh, to uh, hone her racing skills. So it was re she said it was really great. He didn't yell at her like her dad does sometimes. So uh, she enjoyed racing with Gary, and I'm sure he was an excellent mentor for her. Here comes our second place super yeah, you got him neck and neck with uh, our That's going to be it for Team. Yeah, Team oh, Octane's going to come into the pits. Yep, Double Edge Motorsports just coming across and finishing lap number four in fourth place. or falling off the pace. Team Octane is going to retire. So that leaves Marker 17 out in the front, and they're pretty much assure themselves of a checkered flag. And just continue running strong here today. CNR Racing leading in the Super in the Pro Stock Cat class. There's Double Edge Motorsports running back in fourth place in Pro Stock Catamaran. On the last lap, I clocked CR Racing at right about 92 miles an hour, 94 miles an hour. So they're running pretty good. These cats, this is really good water for them. And they continue to run very strong. It's keeping that line. And so as Wide they, turn, bringing it right back around on the straightaway. Yeah, CR Racing continually. There's your leader in the Pro Stock V class, Brian Forehand and Tony DiOrio in the Outer Limits, Marker 17 Marine. Here's your leader in the Pro Stock Catamaran class, CR Racing, followed by Team Allen Lawn Care. They're in second, and here's the third place boat, FJ Propellers. Billy and Andre really seem to have that uh, boat together today. You know, as father and son in the cockpit, they're uh, they're sharing uh, communication on a on a different level too. It's a great story there too, with uh, Andre being you know, adopted from Russia yep. uh, by his parents, and you know, mom is part of the team too, and she's out there driving the truck, and uh, it's a really great family story. Watching the boats Here go. Here we come around the bend with the double uh, double edge motorsports. They really look like they find they've got that boat running really good now. That thirty foot skater as yeah. it comes across the start finish line here in front of the spectators. That's Double Edge Motorsports running in fourth place. And you know, they're they're just wanting to finish. They just want to get their seat time in and uh, and get this first race under their belt. Looking on the back straightaway, there's FJ Propellers continuing to run in third place. Not much has changed over there. CR Racing in first, heading towards the back side of that, that back leg towards turns three and four. And FJ looks like they're really running well, nice and smooth, yeah, but uh, just do. can't get the uh, acceleration they need yet. We still have uh, more than half the race to go. We're only into our sixth lap here, so anything can happen. So through the corner, CR Racing continuing to lead and Pro Stock Cat, there's FJ Propellers. They're running in third, running behind Team Allen Lawn Care. 
And these boats really haven't changed a whole lot of distance between each other over the last few laps. CR Racing starting to come down the chute here and pass first again after six laps. Averaging about 94 miles an hour. Looking good. And Team Allen Lawn Care in second. There's FJ Propellers. So it looks like they're uh, losing a little bit of ground there, but they don't necessarily they're still sound running beautifully. But it's hard to tell. Here's your Here comes our lone V bottom. Yep, running in the Pro Stock V class. Brian Moran and Tony Diorio and Marker 17 Marine. Boy, my heart goes out to uh, Jeff Simmons. You know, he's a longtime racer, a, a real experienced vet. So um, I'm sorry to see that his uh, 29 Extreme just couldn't make it through this one. We've got to find out what happened to him. Unfortunately, they don't get a second heat. So Following FJ propellers there around turn one and two, back to the overall leader, CR Racing. They're just stretching out their lead, trying to chase them down. Team Allen Lawn Care on the back straightaway in front of us here at the start finish line. S111 Double Edge Motorsports in fourth place after its sixth lap. CR Racing. For those who are out there on the beach and out here on the pier watching, uh, I know you've got to be loving this action so up close and personal. And for those of you watching on the live stream, we're glad you're joining us from wherever you are. This is great racing action. Live stream action brought to you by Performance Boat Center. Two locations now, Lake of the Ozarks and South Florida. Go to performanceboatcenter.com. All right, Here into comes the our leader. Yep. Into the turn to come back into the bay here. CR Racing coming around turn number four, holding its lead on this seventh of 14 and a half laps. CR Racing, things are just going great for Rob Understall of Wentzville, Missouri, Casey Boaz of Osage Beach, Missouri. With a nice lead here. Boy, that chopper's in nice and low. Beautiful run. Seven and Team a half Allen. second lead over Team Allen. FJ Propellers has moved some distance up from third as he attempts to chase down Team Allen Lawn Care. They go into turn and he went right over the buoy. Oh. Something happened there. And FJ Propellers made a last minute adjustment. Must not have, it's hard to say what happened there and that could be a penalty as he moved, not only did he go over the top of the of the, the buoy, but he missed that marker. The marker is the green channel marker. That would probably be the scoring marker. And that was a last minute adjustment. Jimmy, Jimmy Harrison must have thought he was off course and made a quick jerk of the wheel and went right over the top destroying that buoy. Here comes Double Edge Motorsports. And just ahead of them was Marker 17 Marine, our uh, lone V-bottom out there making his way uh, number one in the sixth lap. Yeah, and it looked like he was making up time on Team Allen Lawn Care and whatever time he made up, he gave up with that miscue taking out that marker. Just goes to show you, even the best racers can have a bad day, just like the rest of us. My goodness. And probably the one thing he was most worried about was hitting that hard marker that's sitting out there. The green marker what? is, that will, that'll leave a mark. <laughs> and thank goodness he did miss that one. Here comes CR Racing, continuing to lead in the Pro Stock Cat class. Averaging roughly 94 miles an hour. This is lap number eight, so we're more than halfway through this race. Great day for this 32-foot Doug Wright's catamaran. Looks like we got one of our pace boats coming in towards the center course. Nice run. Here comes Team Allen Lawn Care. They've fallen back just a little bit now, about 
nine seconds off the lead in second place. And here comes FJ Propellers trying to regain some distance. Looks like they're kicking it up a notch, trying to make up a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, race officials want to get whatever debris is left in the water from that marker being taken out, right. out so nobody else runs over it. So you got CR Racing 1, Team Allen Lawn Care 2, F&J Propellers 3rd, Double Edge Motorsports in 4th after 8 laps. Still waiting for Double Edge to complete it, its 8th lap. And here they come around the far turn. They're racing right now against Marker 17 Marine. This is not a class race. This is just two boats of two different classifications running side by side. Great view of that 30-foot skater owned by Ryan Beckley as it comes down here into the bay towards the start-finish line. There you got a 29 outer limits V-bottom and a 30-foot skater. So that's the end of the... It's got to look fun for the fans because everybody might not realize they're two different boat classes, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's still great racing action. Marker 17, Marine continues in first place after seven laps. Double Edge Motorsports running back in fourth place. All right, back to our lead boats that are heading into the far turn. We'll have seven laps to complete here in the Pro Stock Catamaran class. Making the turn. Here comes CR Racing. CR Racing. Running flawlessly today. Followed by Team Allen Lawn Care. CR Racing finishes lap number nine in first place. They have led this race from the start. Team Allen Lawn Care finishing its ninth lap in second and FJ Propellers back in third. You know, this class is a little bit like the old uh, IROC, uh, you know, NASCAR races. They're, they're the same uh, boat, the same horsepower, and it's really a question of the racer's abilities. They've made this a really fun class. Uh, it's been affordable for more racers to get into because of the outboard engines. And uh, Doug Wright has really made his mark on this on this class. Yeah, the the 32 Doug Wright is the boat of the class, no doubt. And there's several more that are looking to come out maybe by the end of the year, certainly by next year. The Denoyers or, or one team that's going to have another boat out there next year and it's going to be a 32 Doug Wright. Yeah, they're working on the paint job now. Killer Bees has always been uh, Jim's uh, motto or his uh, his mascot. He's got another uh, bee boat coming up. Race officials are over there. They're going to put another marker out where FJ Propellers took out the one in front of the, the hard buoy on turn number one. That's going to look a little unusual for Jim and Lindsay as they come around, but uh, I'm sure they've got it figured out. Now they're going to put it on the outside. The it's going to change that turn the just turn. a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's what was bothering FJ Propellers, Jimmy Harrison. He didn't want to hit that hard buoy. Here comes Marker 17 Marine leading after the eighth lap and that 29 out outer limit, Ryan Forehand. And... Uh, Vinny DiOrio, CR Marine, CR Racing here, continuing to lead. They've, they haven't relinquished lead all day long here in Dunkirk. This will be lap number 10. Check it. And first place right now continues to be CR Marine. Still back about nine seconds is Team, yeah, Team Allen Lawn Care. And still running in third is FJ Propellers. Watching how they make this turn around the new uh, buoy marker. Everybody negotiates it just fine. Yeah. And heads back behind the break wall to run down the back stretch. 
I'll be eager to hear what kind of speeds they're getting there on the backstretch. They look like they must be enjoying that run. Nice smooth water. Open it up and let it roll. Talking about both these classes indeed, Casey Boaz and Rob Understall in the Pro Stock Cat CR Racing continuing the lead. This is a great entry level to get into the sport. And as you mentioned, it's a, so evenly matched, it's easy to get in and then once you get some experience, really be able to compete to lead. That That's what uh, the Team Allen Lawn Care guys told us that it was they got them into racing they saw the boats they felt there was an evenly compared class and, and they did one uh, year in uh, in v class in the last v year class. And the v class too was another very good entry level of of the sport there goes double edge motorsports Lindsay and jim doing a nice job still on the same lap as the leaders running back in fourth place all right we're checking your leaders in pro stock cat now as they approach turn number four. Lap 11. So we have, this, after this, there'll be four laps left in this Pro Stock Cat class. Here you have your leader in Pro Stock V will come across first. That's the Outer Limits boat, Marker 17 Marine. Followed closely by CR Racing. CR Racing will come around first. They'll go past the bottom. I think Brian was giving him a little room on that one. And Team Allen Lawn Care running in second. And in third, FJ Propellers just passing the start line. Four laps to go. Don't forget coming up immediately after this, the Supercats go back out for Heat number two in our first race today it was Performance Boat Center. They averaged about 100 miles an hour and took the win. Finishing in second was WHM Motorsports and the Pro Floors team took third. It's a two race format, accumulate points for both races, total them up. Whoever has the high points after the end of the second race will win the Dunkirk Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. You know, we were talking about moving around in classes. Um, that's very much what uh, AMH Racing uh, did. They started in the Super V class, uh, ran a few races together, and then when the opportunity came up for this cat, they jumped on it. So, CR Racing around turn number four, preparing to complete lap number 12. They look like they've really increased their lead. Very much so. Do we have a change out there? We're looking at. Uh, that may be. Uh, that may be um, them catching up on uh, double edge. No, that's double there edge. There goes double edge. Just getting by us on. We're having a hard uh, time seeing our monitor. We apologize. What? So double edge, just coming through. Here comes CR Racing, Team Allen Lawn Care right behind them. That was double edge. It was going into turn four. And here comes. Your leader in Pro Stock Cat continuing to run in front. They've run out front the entire race. CR Racing S8. Three laps to go for them to take the checkered flag here in Dunkirk. Team Allen Lawn Care continuing in second. They got a 12 second lead, but you know that seems like an eternity, I'm sure, when you're. 12 seconds behind. And FJ Propellers in third. Here comes Brian Forehand and Vinny Diorio. Wrapping up left 10. Marker 17 Marine. This is a boat you're going to have to watch out for. Brian Forehand set a recent V bottom speed record. He's an outer limits guy now, raced with our medical director. Michael Doc Jansen, when he won his last world championship, that's the boat that they raced in. And he's out campaigning it now, and he's putting on quite a show for, for race fans here. And Brian was a factory racer for Fountain for years also. That's right. All right, looking at CR Racing. 
here on the back straightaway. Boy, the spectator fleet out there must be seeing a great show. They're lined up along the back stretch. Now coming around the turn. Turns three and four. They have that boat just running so beautifully here today. It is just flying on top of the water and those guys have got to be flying sky high in that cockpit here today. 13 lap. Oh, that's Double Edge Motorsports, yeah. I'm sorry. They're finishing up their 12th lap. Their fourth lap. Mm -hmm. But there is CR Marine. And again, what a day for Rob Understall and Casey Boaz, CR Marine. Coming across on lap 13, continuing the lead in Pro Stock Cat. You know, it really says something for how uh, Jim and Lindsay are running that boat. <laughs> they look just like the uh, the race leader. You can see a real change. There goes Team Allen Long Care second. With two more laps to go, FJ Propellers in third. You could see after about three or four laps, they really got comfortable with, with each other. They really got that boat running very well. You can see the attitude change dramatically. And around turn number four, coming towards us is Marker 17 Marine. Looking along the back stretch in the spray, FJ Propellers, there's CR Racing. It's about a lap and a half to go for them. Ryan Forehand and Vinny Diorio completing their 11th lap. Vinny Diorio was a poker runner. He had an outer limits also, and uh, when he had the opportunity to race with Brian, he said he couldn't turn that down. CR Racing. Approaching turns three and four. In front of them, Double Edge Motorsports. At some point, and maybe time will expire, but they're coming close to getting an opportunity to lap Double Edge Motorsports. Jim and Lindsay Denoy are now coming down in front of the spectator fleet. They're running in fourth place. Wrapping up their 13th Cat. lap. And coming around turn four is CR Racing. That's FJ Propellers running back in third. Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou. They're used to being in front, but not today. They've been chasing CR Racing and Alan Team Long. Allen Long Care all day long. Just one more lap to go for CR Racing. Just hoping to hold it together and make it their way around. Team Allen Lawn Care, number two. And They're not letting up a hair, though, because nah, they know who's yep. right behind them. Yep, and still in third. Pretty much holding that position right now, FJ Propellers. Wasn't their day. But what is going through the mind of Rob Undersaw and Casey Boaz right now? As they're out there, just had a tremendous race of lead from start to finish. They got the one lap to go. Just want this thing to be over. So one drama-free race today. That's right. The, the pecking order never changed and we just ran a smooth, safe, beautiful race. Boy, the water is great out there, isn't it? It sure is. There's Jim DeNoyer and Lindsey DeNoyer father-daughter team, Double Edge Motorsports. Great of Ryan Beckley to give them this opportunity. It was, it really worked out well because they're so anxious for their no race boat to be done, but this will give them a little advantage coming into the next season just with the race under their belt. CR Racing on the far turn. There goes Marine Marker. In front of us, yep. Leading in the Pro Stock V class, Marker 17 Marine. For the final time around the far turn, CR Racing, a 32 Doug Wright with twin 300 Mercury OS engines. They've left from start to finish around turn four for the last time. 
Got that, that skater hooked up and they're not, they're not laying back at all. Want to give the local fans a show for what this boat can do. I've been running around 94 miles an hour on the course all day. Here they're coming around turn four. There's double edge. One lap to go. And here comes CR Racing. There they are, your folks. Getting ready to pick up his checkered flag. Rob Understall, Casey Boaz, a 32 Doug Wright with twin 300 Mercury OS engines. Your winners today, right. CR Racing. And taking second, Team Allen Lawn Care. And finishing up in third, here comes F and J Propellers. Do they get bonus points for taking out a buoy? <laughs> they get points. I'm not sure I what I think kind. they go in the other direction. I think so. Yeah. So uh, it won't influence the outcome of this race, I don't think. I will uh, look forward to, uh, to Gary and Jimmy's comments at the end of the race. I'm sure they will be colorful. <laughs> so they finish the, the race here in about 31 minutes. 14 and a half laps. And we had a one, two, three, four run from the beginning to the end. Yeah, 51.33 miles per hour. And there goes CR Racing out into the center. They'll be getting their checkered seeking flag. Seeking his checkered flag. Give me that thing. Let me hold it and hug it and love it. Yeah, great day for, look at him. So happy there in the cockpit. Rob Understall and Casey Boaz, CR Racing, your winners here today in Dunkirk. And Second and third in this uh, in this run is no uh, no shabby thing either. There's everybody that's finishing this race has got to be proud. And finishing in first in Pro Stock B, Marker 17 Marina 29 Outer Limits, Brian Forehand and Vinny DiOrio. Winners here today in Dunkirk at the Race World Offshore Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. Live coverage, our live stream coverage brought to you by Performance Boat Center. There goes Double Edge Motorsports and what a nice day Finishing for them. Finishing their first race together. Great story. Solid, solid day for them. They stayed on the stay on the primary lap with the leaders. Got that boat running well. That's just an extra lap for Team Allen Lawn Care. Congratulations to Rob Understall, Casey Boaz. Checkered flag in hand. Gotta feel good to wrap up your season with the first place win. Race World Offshore in Dunkirk. Big success for CR Racing. And the fans go wild. This has been coverage of the Dunkirk Offshore Grand Prix, Race World Offshore. With our live stream, thanks to Performance Boat Center, the premier high performance dealer and full marine service center with locations in Lake of the Ozark and now in Fort Lauderdale, South Florida. Visit performanceboatcenter.com. So come back, we'll have that second heat for you. Stand by, we'll be right back live on raceworldoffshore.global. Brought to you by Performance Boat Center. Stay tuned. All right, this race is underway. We're into our first half lap, and our leaders are coming down in front of the start finish line. It's a battle between MCON and Cleveland Construction, MCON leading after the first lap. Cleveland Construction, both floors in second. WHM Motorsports in third. And Performance Boat Center in fourth. So it was MCON in second behind Cleveland Construction, WHM, and then Pro Floors, US Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, in fifth and then AMH running back in sixth. What a battle to the line with the two leaders, Cleveland Construction and MCON. We have Mayor Wilford Sosa's with us of the city of Dunkirk. Mayor 
Rosas, thanks for joining us. It's good to be here. And the big uh, turnout here to watch this race. It's got to be really exciting for the city of Dunkirk. Absolutely. Very exciting. Lots of excitement here in the city with this race. This is the first time that we're having it here. Everyone that I've talked to has been very, very happy. So uh, just great to have it here. And you, you're see, also seeing it here in the local community on your local access channel. Absolutely. You know, we're, uh, there's people out here that are watching it because it's being streamed live. And, uh, you know, they're very excited about this. A lot of work went into this to make this thing happen and turned out to be a great event. I think everybody was really happy with it. Absolutely. Uh, I can't tell you enough about the economic impact that it has for our city. Our merchants are actually enjoying the revenue that they're getting this weekend. And so uh, we're just excited about the fact that we do have it here. Well, Mayor Wilfer Rosas, we really do appreciate you having us here in Dunkirk. I think it was a big success. I think all of the race teams really enjoyed it and hope uh, we're able to come back here in 2019. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, Mayor Wilfer Rosas of the city of Dunkirk. Okay, now coming through after lap number two, leading his pro floors here in the Super Cat Class. Incon now back to second. Cleveland Construction running in third. WHM Motorsports in fourth. US One Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns in fifth, and AMH Motorsports running back in sixth spot. Two laps down. This is the second heat of the Super Cat class. Boats heading back out to the back stretch. Pro Floors is right there at the front. Managed to get around some other boats and now leads after lap number two. Marilyn Martini joins us as we wrap up this broadcast. We had performance boat center Jimmy Johns finishing in first place, has the first place points after race number one. Pro Flores was right in the mix as they finished in the third spot. Now they're out in the front in the second race and MCON's chasing them. WHM in third, performance boat center in fourth. What an exciting start to the race and a real flip of, uh, of our leaders. People from Pro Floors have got to be very excited and uh, they're watching probably a day ahead of us uh, in New Zealand, right? That's right. There's Johnny Tomlins and Myra Coyle. They won the first race. They're trailing back off the front of the pack, but the, the Pro Floors team, Wayne Vladder and Chris Hanley in a 39 MTI, in the lead right now as they come around turns three and four and get ready to head back in front of the the race fans here in Dunkirk. Pro Floor is looking very strong here today. Big battle going on for second and third. Cleveland Construction holding in there. MCON, WHM Motorsports and Performance Boat Center. Here comes Pro Floors. And they're in first place again after lap number three. Right behind Imcon. Well, an eight boat lead on Imcon. In second, WHM Motorsports in third. Performance Boat Center in fourth. What happened to Cleveland Construction? And Cleveland Construction has fallen off. There goes AMH Motorsports. They're in fifth place now. Cleveland Construction broke down on that first race and had to fix the boat, got it running, and looked good there on the first couple of laps. We've lost them out on the back stretch somewhere. What a heartbreak after all that hustle, getting a mobile welder, getting your boat fixed, and starting out in second and third position. and. Now we've lost them. MCON running behind Pro Floors in second. Tyler Miller and Tyson Garvin telling you this is a new up and coming boat. They're a competitive boat. Led in Mentor for three laps in a rough race. This is one of the bigger boats out there. It is the biggest boat out there, a 40 foot skater along with the WHM. A little bit heavier than the, the new WHM. There's WHM running back in third place as they approach turns three and four to come back in here to the bay in front of Dunkirk. We were watching some of the teams changing propellers while they were in the pits waiting for this race to start. So we'll be uh, curious to see how that strategy worked out. There's the team from New Zealand, Hanley and, Wad and, and Vladder, 
as they come around turn four. Pro Floors with the lead. Performance Boat Center won the first race, averaged just over 100 miles an hour. They're running back in fourth as of the last lap. Let's we'll see where they are when they come through here. Pro Floors continues to lead. Still about a six boat lead over Imcon. WHM dancing on top of the water in third. Still side holding, in there. Yep. Still holding fourth, performance boat center. And in fifth, AMH Motorsports. So watching Pro Floors and MCON battle it out as they go through turns one and two. Imcon just out of turn two, getting back up and running. The big rooster tail shooting behind. Look how low that rooster tail is on the Pro Floors boat. They have just got that thing running real well here today. WHM Motorsports in third. They finished in second in the, the first race. So if they finished in head of Performance Boat Center, they could win this two heat race. WHM Motorsports, Billy Moff and Jay Muller, 40 foot skater with twin 750 horsepower Sterling engines. This is a 39 MTI. MCON's got a good lead on them, but uh, WHM could catch up coming back down around the straightaways as they approach the turn here. Pro Floors staying tight to the line. MCON going a little bit to the outside. Let's see if they can hold some speed. Now Pro Floors straightens it up. More than a 90 degree turn to come around those positions at three and four. And he's extended his lead. Wayne Pro Floors continues the lead after lap number five. And he's extended his lead by a couple of boat lengths on Imcon. Nine seconds behind. Here comes WHM. W Seems like he's listing a little bit uh, starboard there. What's going on? WHM in third and performance boat center in fourth. Big story though is Pro Floors 39 MTI with twin 750 horsepower cast engines. Wayne Vladder and Chris Hanley, both from New Zealand, from Auckland, New Zealand. There goes AMH. They're running in fifth, not far off the leaders. After lap number five of 11 and a half here in the Super Cat Heat number two. WHM Motorsports, uh, they want to stay ahead of Performance Boat Center. Take the two race totals and average them out and see who has the most points to determine who the winner is going to be. And WHM and Performance Boat Center are in the best shape, but so is Pro Floors because they finished up in the top of the pack as well. Pro Floors finished in third in the first heat. There's Performance Boat Center. They averaged over 100 miles an hour in race one and took the victory. Myrick Coyle and John Tomlinson. Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns. All right, coming back off the back leg is the team from New Zealand, the Kiwis. They have the lead. Hanley and Vladder. Making that turn a lot tighter this time around. Looking good as they come down the straightaway. They are holding that line very well. Got that boat dialed in very nicely. First place in the sixth lap. As they cross the straightaway. not far behind. Seems like MCON is now maybe 10 boat leagues back. WHM still holding a steady third. Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns, they look good. They're running strong. And looks like they may be laying back as they sometimes do. They are not afraid to, to run you down from behind. 
did it to Cleveland Construction and Mentor. We thought that might be a hometown win for that boat. And on the last lap, Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns ran them down and took the win. AMH Construction comes across, still running. And in fifth place after six laps. Pro Floors, MCON, those are your one and two boats here. In this Race World Offshore event in Dunkirk, New York. Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. MCON really establishing themselves as a boat. Don't take them for granted. And Tyler and Tyson look like they've got it dialed in there today. Both running nice and smooth. WHM still holding on to third and performance fourth. No change there. Big rooster tail coming up now. Coming down from pro floors to get those drives tucked under. Make this turn pretty tight. This one not quite as tight as the last, but they still have a commanding lead. WHM Motorsports running in third. That's AMH Con Motorsports running in fifth place. Here comes in front of us Pro Floors. They've led after lap number two all the way here. MCON running in second. Here comes your battle. Your two top point leaders after the first race, WHM Motorsports holding on to third. And Performance Boat Center to fourth. We're just about halfway through the race here, anything can happen. We've got the boats fairly paced out. And a good look down the tunnel of that skater catamaran. You see how those boats just get up and ride on top of the water. It's a good start for AMH Motorsports. Running in fifth, they ran solid in the very first race. Pro Floors, 39 MTI with twin 750 cast engines. You know, anyone that, that lives in Dunkirk and is not here on the piers or on the beach, can be watching this uh, live cast at uh, the DunkirkAccess.com. And we're live worldwide at the Race World Offshore Global site, live streaming. Tyler Miller, Tyson Garland, Garvin, MCON running in second place. Very impressive showing for them in Dunkirk. Approaching the turn here comes Pro Floors. Pro Floors has the turn all to themselves. Taking it nice and wide, just like the last time. As they come back here, we pass the halfway point in this race. And they continue to run out in front. And they said the straightaway was their strong suit. They're showing it here today. The sponsons on that MTI are smaller than any sponsons on any other boat here. The tunnel hull widths are the same on all of these boats. Here's MCON and running Con. in second. And a battle for third place. And WHM still holding their ground. Talking them. Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns. You know, MCON had a little bit of an issue in their last race, too, and they had to do some work on their boat uh, physically. So it's good to see that they were able to uh, hustle it back from skater and uh, get back get back in excellent racing form here. Well, the racers really like this course. Here comes AMH in number five place. Yeah, Marilyn, the racers really like this course. And it's very, it's very fan friendly. And I think that at first the, the racers said that they were a little skeptical because it was such a short course, but they really like the way it curves on the outside. They like the turns, and, uh, and they said they can feel the energy from the pier with all these people. They can't hear them in the cockpit, but they can feel it. And when we look back behind us here, it looks like half of Dunkirk is definitely on the pier. We're watching 
your overall leader. This is Pro Floors. This team is from New Zealand. This boat is the former Spirit of Qatar boat. It's managed now by Steve Curtis out of Orlando. Pretty cool to have Steve taking care of your boat when you're out of the country. Nothing like having a racing legend yeah. in your shop. Huh? <laughs> That's right. Here they come. And still crossing the buoy for first place in lap nine. So it's lap Pro, nine here. Pro Floor is continuing to lead, looking for their second win of the year. Imcon running in second. They're getting a little more speed out of that boat right now as the fuel burns off. And this is just a carbon copy of the last lap with WHM in Performance Boat Center. Performance boats look like they're picking it up a little bit here. Performance Boat Center, Jimmy John's running in fourth place. They were your two top boats in the first race. Performance Boat Center with 255 points for their win. WHM Motorsports with 229 points for their win. And it was Pro Floors with 205.5 points for their win, or for their third place finish, excuse me, in heat number one. Boats are out on their 10th lap here. Here comes AMH Motorsports. Wrapping up his ninth lap in fifth place. You know, it's, it's kind of ironic that we're seeing in the Super uh, Cat race here, much like we saw in the Pro Stock Cat, Somebody that's not used to being in the back is now looking at other people's rooster tails. So coming around turns three and four is the Pro Floors boat. And if things stay the way they do, I'll have to do my math here, but he wants to keep Imcon between him and the guys behind him. If Imcon stays in between WHM and Performance, certainly Performance Boat Center, he has a real chance to win the the points by getting the checkered flag here. So, Ladder and and Hanley, Hanley want Imcon to stay right where they're at. Here comes Pro Floors continuing the lead. After lap number 10 in the NZ1 from New Zealand, from Auckland, New Zealand, it's Pro Floors. Looking win. down the tunnel here of Imcon. Maintaining second. And WHM Motorsports and Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns continuing to hold third and fourth. And WHM a little, a little further out in front by maybe an extra boat lane. In third place, Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns back and forth. it looks like WHM has a little bit of bow rise. Their boat just seems to be sitting a little bit different than, uh, than performance boat. And it might be the props, it might be the trim, it might be. There could be your spoilers right there, How they there, move folks. the weight around in, the, in yeah. the boats. They seem to be handling it though. They do have it running fast. Yeah. MCON, as I said, could be your spoiler. Moff and Muller running in third, a strong third after a second place finish in heat one. And AMH lap 10 in fifth place. Anthony and Aaron trying to get that boat dialed in and uh, get the feel of racing together, communicating, getting the feel of the course and the boat. And well, here they come, approaching the turn. Yep, Pro Floors. Pro Floors. On their last lap, we had them at 105 miles an hour on that last lap. We see Cleveland Construction under tow in the middle of the course. Continuing the lead with just one lap to go after this, Pro Floors. And he has spread out his lead on MCON. Pro Floors on the last and final lap here today, leading in the Super Cat class, Heat 2. Here's Imcon. Running in second. And you're definitely right. 
WHM getting a little extra air. Foul coming up a bit. But keeping it under control. Running good speed in third. And back and forth. Performance both center. Jimmy John. Cleveland Construction is not getting the viewpoint they wanted for the end of this race. Well, they put a valiant effort out. They did everything they could to get that boat after flipping it in the previous race and a lot of damage to it. Mark Small and his team pulling out all the stops, supporting the Super Cat class and Race World Offshore. Got that boat ready to go. And then when it broke here in the first heat, they got it back ready to go again and got it out there. And this team is resilient. We salute Cleveland Construction, AMH Motorsports in fifth. with those what's up engines just gotta catch up right now wayne bladder and chris hanley from auckland new zealand they are in the catbird seat coming around turn three and four for the final time looking to win the second heat and they got the checkered flag waving at them they're ready to take this win in the 39 MTI with twin 750 horsepower gas engines, this is Wayne Vladder and Chris Hanley. Pro Floors is your winner in Dunkirk. They get the they get the longest travel award, that's for sure, as well as the first place win. And MCON will take second. Strong, strong day for MCON. Tyler Miller and Tyson Garvin. Gotta be a happy team today. Yes. Finish 14 seconds behind the leaders. WHM Motorsports will take another second place finish. Third. Pardon me, I'll take a third place finish. And, and fourth goes to Performance Boat Center. So a second and a third for WHM, and a first and a fourth for Performance Boat Center, Jimmy Johns. MCON with a second and a fourth. Wow, what a race. The second heat of the Super Cat class here in the Dunkirk Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. And MTI wins the second heat here in the Super Cat class of the Dunkirk Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix. And we want to thank our sponsors. This whole race was brought to you by Performance Boat Center. Visit performanceboatcenter.com.